I used to work in a country club in America amongst a bunch of rich men that made all this money. And I was carrying their golf bags while they were golfing for four hours. And I'd listen to their conversations that they had. And they talk about money this, business this. And they talk about the women they're sleeping with, cheating on their wives. And, dude, I even saw some of rich men, some rich men who worked for a famous basketball team, the Cleveland Cavaliers in Ohio. I saw them pull out drugs. They even offered me drugs. I was an 18 year old kid. And they offered me drugs. They said, here, have some, help yourself. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Repentance and forgiveness of sin should be preached in his name to all nations. Let us ask God to strangely warm our hearts and set our souls on fire. I'm constantly quoting what Jesus says. Glory to the Lord. That's the power of God. I don't know this man. I don't know anything. He didn't tell me anything. I started praying for him. He has a very specific petition. I randomly started praying for him. And I didn't know he was asking for that. I didn't know he was asking to get married. I didn't even know if he was married. He could have been married for all I knew. Not every man wears a ring on his finger. He's married. I didn't know he was seeking a wife. It's okay. I am too, bro. You're not alone. I'm still waiting for my, I've been waiting for eight years. And that's okay, I'll keep waiting. Because the Bible says it's better to be alone in the corner of an attic than married to the wrong woman. You see that? He comes up to me, he didn't tell me anything. He didn't tell me what he was been praying for. But the Holy Spirit used me to pray exactly for what he wanted. Exactly what he's been praying for. For a wife. And I didn't know that, he didn't tell me that. See, the Holy Spirit can use you when you pray for people, the Holy Spirit can use you. The Holy Spirit can speak to you when you're faithful to God. So he must be faithful to God for the Lord to have blessed him with that. To have used me to pray for him in such a way. I didn't know that about him. See my friends, God can use you. Don't you want God to use you? Or do you just want to use God? You just want to use God to get stuff that you want. Just had the man come up to me. He didn't tell me what he's been praying for. He didn't tell me anything. And I just started randomly praying exactly for his one petition he's been praying for. He had tears of tears in his eye because he could feel the love of God on him. He could feel his father's love. There were tears of, of joy 
that he wiped from his eyes. So if you need prayer, come. shining on you and you just march forward you just keep going forward that's you you just keep going forward you don't even look back you don't let anything hold you back you just keep going that's you that's what the Lord just showed me about you I don't know you so if I'm wrong you call me a false prophet in front of everybody that's fine I have no problem with that you have every right to test me the Bible says test the spirits so glory to God if I'm wrong rebuke me and tell me I'm going to hell right but no, I'm serious. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Tell, call me a false prophet. I don't care. If I'm wrong, you gotta, you have to tell me. You have to rebuke me if what I just saw in the spirit was a lie. No, it's true. <laughs> That's your character? Yes. I don't even know. Have we ever met? No, no. I've never even met you, have I? No, no. Well, you don't even know my name. I don't even know your name. Dwayne. Now I know your name. My name is Joseph. Glory to God, brother. So your victory is coming from whatever it is that's burning in you. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised, God says. You'll be surprised. I'll even use you to lift up your voice randomly one day. It's going to happen. I'm going to stir up your heart so much. It's going to happen. You're, you're, the only way it's going to go away is when you open your mouth. Yes, sir. But when it's you true. open your mouth, I'm going to bless you it's like true. you can't even imagine. It's true. It's true. I'm going to bless you. True. I'm going to bless you. Not ashamed to serve the Lord. I am not ashamed to serve my God. Your mouth Thank me, you. God Almighty. You see me. Thank you, Father, for this word for my brother. Thank you, beautiful God, for the promise to bless him. That this conviction of the Spirit is going to come upon him in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, bro. That's the, the, you're the most successful person I've met in, in Jamaica. You know that? I've met people that make a lot of money here in Jamaica. Guess what? You're the first one who says, I'm ashamed of my sin. You're the wealthiest man I've come across in Jamaica. Because spiritually you are wealthy. You can have all the physical wealth in the world, you can be the most spiritually empty, broke, dead person. I used to work in a country club in America amongst a bunch of rich men that made all this money. And I was carrying their golf bags while they were golfing for four hours. And I'd listen to their conversations that they had. And they talk about money, this, business, this. And they talk about the women they're sleeping with, cheating on their wives. And, dude, I even saw some of rich men, some rich men who worked for a famous basketball team, the Cleveland Cavaliers in Ohio. I saw them pull out drugs. They even offered me drugs. I was an 18-year-old kid. And they offered me drugs. They said, here, have some, help yourself. What kind of sickness is that? Here's these rich men. They have all these women, that I'm, they have all this money, but they're spiritually dead. dead. Spiritual zombie. Dead. They don't have true joy. Oh, not of them. Not of they don't have true peace. Not of you know me. why? Not of take away their money, you take away their happiness. But when you have faith in Jesus, nobody can steal my joy. Why did the apostles shout hallelujah when they were thrown in jail? The apostles were shouting hallelujah when they were thrown in jail. You know what? The jail couldn't even steal their joy. The, je no, the devil couldn't even steal their faith. The demons couldn't take away their peace. Now that is what you call a really wealthy person. 
Somebody who has joy that can't be stolen. Somebody who has peace that can't be taken. Somebody who's got faith that can't be shaken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it only comes through Christ. By the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus came to give us the Holy Spirit. To dwell with us. That's why he says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send you a comforter. And he shall be with you forever. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have the comforter, the Holy Spirit, you got nothing. No money can get you to heaven. But the Holy Spirit can bring you there. This life is temporary, nothing. Temporary to the dust. You need Jesus. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. You want to serve the Lord, bro? You can pass these out. Go to that corner there and pass them out. There's a lot of people in that corner, brothers. The Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to the Almighty God. Glory to the living God. You can receive the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the living God. Praise the King forever and ever. Jesus says, after the Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power.